Is your gasket? You need a new gasket for E85. Okay. Ready? All right guys, so I promised that I was gonna do a long-term review on this uh, Mr. Gasket uh, E85 pump, but that long, I guess, that long-term review is now, I've only, I think I pumped it like twice, and it's already leaking right here. Like I don't even have to, I don't even have to pump, it's just gonna turn on and I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna start leaking right there. Yeah. And that's like, I've only pumped it twice, you guys, so. Yeah, whoever my, uh, one of my viewers did mention that these things are known to leak and he's, uh, he's spot on you guys and uh, yeah, he's right. So I'm gonna try to take this clamp, this pinch clamp off and we'll replace it with uh, one of these clamps and hopefully it doesn't leak. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Is this supposed to be like the best of the best or? <laughs> it's supposed to be rated for E85 you guys and it's, I don't think so man. It's, yeah, it's out of warranty too, so I can't even get it warranty. And it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't, maybe it's just a clamp, but it shouldn't leak after you pump it a few times because when I pumped it the first time, it didn't leak at all. So, yeah, so hopefully I'm going to cut this off and then uh, let's see if it works or not. I'm worried that this clamp is a little too big, but that's all we have around the shop right now. So give it a quick snug here, you guys. Hopefully it does it, let's see. All right, let's see if it works. Watch it squirt all over our face here. No good. Uh, no good, you guys. And you can't even fill up anything without it. Yeah, it's squirting everywhere. No good. I'm kind of wondering if it's the... Uh, I don't know. Let's open it up. All right guys, so I open it up and I'm thinking it's not the actual clamp itself, like here. So this actually rotates and there's a gasket here. So I, what I did was I put some Teflon tape around it. I know it's not gonna probably hold up. It's probably gonna get eaten away by the E85, but uh, just for temporary use right now, I'm gonna just try to see if it works, you guys. Hopefully, hopefully it does stop from leaking for, just for the moment. And uh, Just for now. So see it rotates. But let's see if it works. Nothing worries anyway. Okay, let's try it. Ready? It doesn't work. I mean, it, it worked, you guys. So is that O-ring inside that it just basically probably e eaten away or just became really hard because of EA5? But uh, yeah, instead of cutting the hose, you guys just loosen this out and it works for now. So let's fill it up. There you go. It's crazy how I fill up my tank like this, hey eh, guys? Just being lazy, I just don't want to roll it all the way over there and fill it up. Mr. Gasket, you need a new gasket for E85. <laughs> I wonder how long the Teflon tape's gonna hold it. Eh? Uh, 
I guess we'll know for next time when we fill up. Yeah, I can't see it lasting too long. Just that O ring only lasted two times then. Just turning it on, we'll know right away for yeah. next time, hey guys. Leaders, you guys. But overall, you know, the Mr. Gasket, the pump works very well. Like, yeah, it didn't, didn't fail on me, but mind you, I have only used it like, it will be my third time using it right now. But like, overall, it pumps and it works, works quite well, no leakage, except that one where the hose was. It's a simple gasket, but again, when you're spending that kind of money on a pump, it, sh it should work, right? It shouldn't be uh, leaking anywhere, but. But overall, it's, like I said, it works, and uh, um, I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated again because every time I, I pump it, and then something will leak, just like every other uh, pump that I've used or failed because of the internal gaskets. But uh, the Mr. Gasket one so far it works fine, despite that holes.